Hi guys, Adria the Porsche lover. So today I'm going to share with you guys, skimming your brake disc could be dangerous for your car. Let's get up in the subject for today. As usual, we'll start with a wristwatch check. So my wrist today is a Casual G-Shock. This is the reference model GLS 100. I used to be a huge fan of G-Shocks, having a lot in the collection, but I saw them all off except for a few pieces and this is one of them. So this piece is pretty unique as it has a few standout features compared to the usual G-Shocks. For starters, it has a negative display and also it's a low temp display, meaning that it can go into winter and you can bring it for skiing. At the same time, instead of the usual rubber strap, it will have a fabric strap. So this is different from the usual G-Shocks. Okay, back to the topic at hand. First thing first, we'll talk about what is skimming a brick disc. Skimming the brick disc, or also known as resurfacing the brick water in other parts of the world, is a very common practice, especially in Malaysian car workshops. You skim a brick disc is because the car brakes are making a noise or the car is juddering when you brake usually about 60 to 100 km per hour. Reason being is because usually there will be wear and tear on the brake disc and when you wear and tear you have undulations or uneven surfaces on the brake disc and this causes the noise or the jutter vibration that you get when you brake on the car the workshop will then check the entire brake system of the car to see what is wrong with the car so let's say if the brake pads are worn out they recommend to replace the brake pads sometimes the brake discs are also worn out where there are deep lines of groove or the surface is very uneven which caused the vibration for the car. The workshop will also then recommend to replace the brake disc as well. But some customers will unfortunately they don't have the budget to do that. So in order not to let the business opportunity run away, they will then recommend the customers to skim the disc. Skimming this is in theory is very simple. What you do is that you are actually smoothening out the surface of the brake disc which is uneven in order to reduce the noise or to reduce the vibration cost when you are braking on the car. But why is it dangerous? The reason it's dangerous is because the brake disc actually functions to absorb the heat and also dissipate the heat when you brake the car. It's because the brake pad is actually contacting the brake disc surface. So when you're contacting the surface, you'll be heat generated. So when you skim the disc, you're technically thinning the disc. And when you have less area to absorb the heat, the brake pad and brake disc will heat up very fast. I'll give you an example. You're going up to Genting, no issue, usually you won't use much brakes. But when you come down from Genting Highlands, you're actually braking a lot because it's downhill. So when you prolong braking, you actually cause the car brakes to overheat. And when you overheat, the brakes will fade and the thing will fail, which is very dangerous. Another reason why it's dangerous is because when you skim the brake disc also, when it's thinner, it's also more prone to cracking. And when the brake disc crack, that is a big no-no because it's super dangerous as it endangers the entire passenger's family and the driver of the car together. If you like the content so far and like this video, please give me a like button and also subscribe below. Thank you! In front of me, there are two brake components. On the right hand side is the brake disc which usually people normally see and the workshops will skim. On the left hand side, some cars actually come with brake drums to the rear, so the workshops will also skim this as well. What causes the sound and the vibration when you step on the brake pedal is due to the brake rotors. If let's say your brake pads are okay, so you can see the brake disc itself, there are lines running across it. The, the deeper the lines or groove, the more sound and vibration this brake disc will cause. Also, if you run the pen across the surface, you can feel it's uneven until you hit the end there. So it stops because there's a lip here. The reason there's a lip at the brake disc is because the brake disc is already worn out. Even though it might look plenty thick from this angle here, however, the back is already sunken down inside. The only way to know the true thickness of the brake disc will be to use a caliper or a micrometer to measure the thickness of the brake disc itself. When they skim the disc, they're actually clearing off layers and layers of metal. As I mentioned earlier, there are lines and groove here. So the deeper the groove, the more metal they have to clear in order to make it smooth surface. So eventually, imagine if they cut down the metal from here to here, let's say about 2mm, you're already clearing one third of the brake disc itself. Like I mentioned earlier, when you thin the material, the brake is more prone to overheating. And when you overheat, your brakes fade, your brake disc crack, and this will eventually lead to a very bad accident because the brakes can't stop the vehicle itself. For the brake drum, it's the same story. You can see it's also worn out. There are grooves all along the brake drum surface. If I run my pen across it, you will hear the scratchy noise because it's uneven. Similarly for the brake drum, if you skim the brake drum, same like the brake disc, you will actually thin the material too much. Let's say if you go overboard, 
it will cause the material to thin, overheat and then crack which will lead to an accident due to brick failure. In conclusion, I'm not saying that brick this skimming is bad. If the car workshops know what they're doing, they measure the thickness before they skim the brick disc to ensure that it meets the minimum spec, please by all means go ahead. And they also measure the thickness after they skim the disc to ensure that it is safe for use on the road. However, I've heard many stories and also seen my client's car where they come in with cracked discs and we found that the brick is so thin, it actually endangers not only your life but also the lives of the passengers in the car itself. So, in the end of the day, I would recommend to change the brick disc because most of the time when I see the brick disc is worn out already, it's usually due for replacement. I hope you guys learn quite a bit from this video. In the meantime, stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one.